All right, let's talk some uh, sport development, and uh, specifically we're going to talk about tennis. Now, the third edition of the Hope Tennis Clinic is coming off in Cape Coast, the central regional capital, uh, on September 21. Now, this uh, regional tour is set to commence uh, from that particular date, and it's beginning from the central region. Now, here with me in the studio are Cedric Jelu, who is the executive director of the uh, Hope Tennis Clinic, and... Um, Another colleague of his as well, the president of the uh, Hope Tennis Clinic as well, Enoch. And uh, we're going to be having uh, this conversation together. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your time. Thank, Thank you, you for having us, but, Chris. Um, it's good to also note that this is the third time that we're seeing you here in the studio talk about yeah. tennis and specifically this particular endeavor. And so you guys, I believe, are doing a, a wonderful job and congratulations for that. Thank you very much, Now, let's, let's go to the specifics. Now, uh, what have you noticed regarding the levels of interest in the sport um, you know, outside of Accra, specifically in the central region where you're going to be uh, hosting the next one? Chris, it will interest you to know that the talent that is in Ghana in terms of tennis is vast and widespread. But most often, emphasis has been laid in Accra. Mm. We have done our checks and have realized that these regions, other regions have equal talent. Mm. And for that matter, there's a need to reach out to this region in sharing the opportunities that the foundation has to offer. The more reason why we are taking our program this year to four regions and making sure that we contribute to the development of tennis in the regions. Mm. Let's just review quickly what has happened in the last two years. Um, you started this on a very, very high energy note, especially yeah. from your point of view. But um, what, what did you notice when, when you went around in the first two years? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and thank you uh, for the question, Chris. But Nath, Nathaniel, 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 yeah, Nathaniel sorry. Yeah. My bad. But yeah, for the first uh, two seasons that we hope, uh, we hosted Hope Performance Tennis, I mean, the motive behind the organization was to empower the young generation, you know, coming up as a tennis player, you know, and I use my, I use my background, you know, as a tennis player to always, you know, push the, the vision because, I mean, Growing up as a tennis player, you know, it was very tough for me, you know, and I remember I came back home in 2017 and I realized most of the young generation coming up as tennis players are basically going through the same thing I went through and this time it's even tougher than I, I was, you know. So this motivated me, you know, to come up with the organization, you know, to start talking to people and make sure, you see, these kids that are coming up as tennis players, you know, who have the support that they need, who have the equipment that they need, you know, to have that free mind to play the game instead of going through those struggling, you know, and stuff. So uh, in 2018 and 2019, when we did our program, you know, we, we, we make sure these kids are benefiting from it. So we came up with a lot of equipment, a lot of string, racket, balls, you know, grip that they will need to make sure or, you know, their game or the game of tennis go forward for them. Now, uh, the, the, and, and I'm very glad about this conversation about equipment support because, you know, um, in, in, in starting off the sport and, and giving it its foundations, equipment support is very, very important. Yeah. Now, um, how equipped are you for this, this season, especially considering that um, Cape Coast has a very big population of, uh, you know, school-going children, just like all the other regions? And it's seen as the nerve center, especially for second cycle, exactly. uh, you know, uh, sports. I mean, the second cycle institutions, uh, most of, a lot of them are, are, are there in Cape Coast. Um, what's the plan in terms of, you know, equipment support for this, this project? Chris, you, sorry, Nat, you are right on point mm. that this is an exotic game mm. and the cost of a racket is expensive as well as other equipment. We have a sustainability plan to ensure that our program runs on a sustainable scale and do not, you know, close uh, in the short term. We have partners, we have sponsors, we have people who you know, are giving us the needed support. Myself, I was in Atlanta, Georgia with the president to raise funds to make an appeal to people of benevolence who are interested in supporting the game even here in Ghana. And believe you me, we have made a good case to raise uh, resources that is needed for this clinic. And so we are not short in supply at all in terms of racket, in terms of strings, grips, and all the things that we needed. COVID has prevented us from starting, you know, earlier than this. If not, we would have hosted this program two, three weeks ago. Mm. But it was just yesterday that we took delivery of all 18, you know, cuts, 18, you know, package of our program. We have sorted each of them out. We have named them. And as I speak, they are, each of them are on their way to the regions that we have in this program. So we are good on equipment, and we assure you that each kid that comes to our program will have a share in terms of tennis racket, strings and ball, mm. to participate and to you know, grow in the game. As we wrap up the conversation, there's also the talk about, you know, 
the major infrastructure itself. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the probability of finding a tennis court, yeah. um, be it hard, be it clay, be it, uh, you know, lawn, grass, yeah. is very, very difficult. Um, tell me about that as well, uh, you know, what, what you found out regarding the availability of the infrastructure as well in, in these regions. So it is true that the cost of, uh, I mean, putting up a tennis court is very huge. Myself and the president and the management have come out with a plan, uh, speaking to members of parliament, speaking to district chief executives, if they can commit part of their common fund to putting up at least just one tennis court, or basically one tennis court, and we will supply the tennis equipment, the racket, the balls, to this court, and ensuring that we have a center that will operate on daily basis. The kids, when they close from school at three o'clock, they come up to this center, they practice up to five, and they go home making sure that we are creating a hub across the country. And so if you can help us use this platform to reach out to the ministers, to reach out to the MPs, the DCs, we'll be happy to go on this one court project to ensure that we mount this court, provide the facility, and we keep the game going. Okay, uh, finally, how, what's the mode of entry for this uh, clinic? So mm. the mode of entry uh, with Hope Performance Tennis, when you're coming for our clinics, you basically don't have to pay anything. You know, everything is zero. You know, you just bring yourself, you know, equipment, the equipment and everything is already there. And one thing that we also do, you know, for these kids, because we know how the situation is, you know, so each and every program that we do, when you come, you don't pay anything. And also there is free, free breakfast for you, free lunch, free refreshment, and then free equipment. So basically you don't pay nothing and then you come there and you get everything that wow. you need. Wow, that, you know, that, well. that is uh, heavily commendable. Uh, yeah. Tell me about the date and the time schedules as well before we wrap up. That if we leave this studio, we are on our way to Winneba wow. to kickstart from tomorrow to Saturday. From there on the 21st, we'll be in Cape Coast. We'll move to Sugakope from the 23rd to the 4th September. Then from the 1st to the 2nd October, we'll hit Sunyani and be at the Uzbek Hotel in Sunyani. Oh. And finally, crown it up or at the Netco uh, Tennis Club from the 8th to the 9th of September. Wow, interesting stuff there. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Thank Enoch you. and uh, Cedric, and uh, thank, thank you. you so much. So uh, they represent the uh, Hope Tennis Performance Clinic, and um, they are doing some wonderful stuff. Free equipment for the kids, free food. Just come and take part. It's, uh, you know, free registration as well. All right, so I will be updating you as well on what happens on the, you know, the uh, rate of performance of these kids who will take part in it and also the uh, levels that they will reach uh, and get themselves ready for uh, competing um, you know, from the competitive level here in Ghana.